Okay, let's talk about finding midpoint. Um, when we're finding the midpoint between two points, and that's just the point that's halfway between them, um, it's actually uh, halfway between the, the x coordinate for the midpoint is halfway between the x coordinates for the two endpoints, and the, the x coordinate or the y coordinate for the midpoint is halfway between the y coordinate for the two endpoints. So we just have to figure out what number is halfway between 3 and negative 7. And what number is halfway between 5 and 3? Well, between 5 and 3, it's easier. It's 4. But uh, what's between negative 7 and 3? Well, fortunately, there's a formula for us. So it's if we have x and y, our other x and y, we add together the two x coordinates. So we have 3 minus 7, and that's like 3 plus a negative 7. And then we divide by 2. It's essentially just the average of the two. Right? The average of two numbers gives you the number that's exactly in the middle. Um, and then our y-coordinate would be 5 plus 3. We're just going to add them together, divide it by 2. So then we have uh, 3 minus 7 is uh, negative 4. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. 5 plus 3 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. So our midpoint is negative 2, 4. Negative 2, 4 is halfway between these two. Uh, here's another one. Negative 2 and uh, negative 5. So let's say I want to add together. I've got my x coordinates and my y coordinates. Negative 5 and negative 2. So I add them together. Negative 5 minus 2, which again, minus 2 is like plus a negative 2. And we divide by 2 and 6 and 2. So 6 plus 2 divided by 2. Um, let's see. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7 over 2, and with 6 plus 2 is um, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So there's our coordinates. It's negative 7 halves and 4. And that's perfectly okay to leave this as negative 7 halves. If you want to turn it into a decimal, it's negative 3 fifths. But actually, it's probably better to just leave it as a fraction. Now here, we've got a couple of points that don't even have any, you know, what was a 4, but the rest of them are all variables. And that, again, is perfectly okay. You can have coordinate pairs where we have variable coordinates. It's fine. And we do the calculations the same way. So we have our x coordinate and our y coordinate, x coordinate and our y coordinate. So I've got m and 4 divided by 2. And that's our x. And then for the y, it's n plus n squared divided by 2. Now here, since there's really not a whole lot we could do to simplify these two expressions, and we can't actually figure out what the numbers are without you know evaluating the expressions for with uh, for n and m, so we're just going to leave them the way they are. So that's perfectly okay. So you can find the midpoint between two points without actually having not having any number coordinates there. Um, you know they're all variables, and that's perfectly okay.